Life is tough. School keeps us on our toes and failure to reach our academic goals sets us back. Culturally true love is an exciting moment for many, but the idea of a failed marriage can leave us wondering if it's even worth it to try. Here I've listed just a few of the obstacles that lie in the way of our dreams, but there are more. We all face failure, but we can overcome it. Allow me to show you how. Often these moments of failure seem to never end. Let me illustrate this with the story of a man who fought years through the dark tunnel of repeated failure. There was once a man motivated, broad, tall, and powerful. However, no matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't reach his goals. In 1816, when he failed to provide for his family, he left home to go and find work. A few years later, with the idea that the best way to predict your future is to create it, he led a failed business venture, and when things crashed and burned, he was the face. When he decided to get into politics, he didn't do any better. He lost the state legislature election, then the job that was making ends meet. And then when he went to law school, he was rejected. He lost the race for Congress, the U.S. Senate, and even the vice presidency. But where did these failures take him? What did he become? Were his failures stepping stones or sinkholes? Did he repeatedly push himself all the way to the edge for nothing? In the face of regular opposition, did he ever give up? Did he learn from defeat and make changes to be better? Did his strengths ever get any stronger? Could it be that failure is a stepping stone to success? Failure is a crossroads. One path is passive. It's easy. Change jobs, quit the team, drop the class, give up on your goals. When the going gets tough, just stop there. But the other path is active. It's much less walked by the passage of human footsteps. It comes from beyond the mind and within the human soul. It's visible. It's that kid in class that just keeps studying, even after failing all of his exams. It's that mom who sends endless motivational messages even when she herself is suffering because she doesn't understand her own self-worth. It's the pencil-thin bodybuilder with the wristband that says, I can. He knows the high road, too. You can take this route, but you have to decide to now. But is it really possible to derive benefit from failure? I mean, that's crazy. Well, of course it is. There is a team at Google called X. At X, they chase failure and even give bonuses out to the teams that make their projects crash and burn. Spokesman for X said in a TED Talk, At X, people work to address huge problems. They celebrate failure, get messy, break things, and try to prove they're wrong. That is the secret. They run into all the hardest parts of the problem first, even to the point of cheering. How are we going to fail our project today? Close quote. The principle of failure is true for everyone. We must challenge the limits of our abilities to see what good we really have within. Now, today we've talked about the man who walked the dark tunnel of repeated failure, but how does the story finish? Well, let's return to his failing frenzy. Because in 1860, after years of complete failure, he was elected as the 16th president of the greatest country in the world. He led during the largest civil dispute ever known to man, emancipated slaves, and raised a nation from the dust, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. That's the Gettysburg Address, and our failed friend, became known as President Abraham Lincoln. Are you like Lincoln or the failed famous at Google X? Will your failure become a stepping stone or a sinkhole? Our opportunities in life are limitless. However, we will all face failure. But what will make you different the next time this happens? Will you, like the dreamers at X, will use failure as a means of progression? 
You, like Lincoln, will keep on trying. And persistence will make your failure a stepping stone. You will fail forward. You'll ask him out on a date. You'll take that class that everyone else says to avoid. According to his autobiography, before he died, Lincoln said, quote, that some achieve great success is proof to all that others can achieve it as well.